In a new video boxer Ryan Garcia addressed recent concerning social media posts and promised to focus solely on his upcoming fight against Devin Haney, assuring fans that the bout is still on in five weeks but when you read the fans' comments on YouTube it's very clear that there is a theme in what people think about this little video. Here are some of the comments. The fact he's reading from a script is sad. Hope he gets help. I can sense the guns being pointed at him behind the camera. They Kanye West his ass bra. Homie was speaking the truth poor dude. And those are just some of the comments. Basically no one is buying it and most people think he has been forced to do this because he's been saying too much. Personally I think he has been forced to do it but only because he's under legal obligation to fulfill his fight contract and a lot of people and money are relying on him. That being said they also make him wear what appears to be a crown of thorns or maybe it's a wreath which is Caesar's crown. You decide. Garcia goes on to clarify that he would only speak about boxing in the fight and dismissed any distractions. He also mentioned his training camp, specifically PBD from the PBD podcast which is kind of strange that he singles him out since he's not a trainer nor a boxer. I have PBD helping me in this camp and many other warriors so I thank you guys for the support and I'll see you guys on 420. That is until you realize that in a recent video where PBD discusses the chat he had with Ryan about only speaking and posting about boxing and sports. We, we had a 15 minute combo. I said, look, Mike, I have one suggestion for you. He says, but pal, you don't know what I'm seeing. And I said, I totally get it. I said, then why don't you not fight? Then, then don't go fight. I, I want you to stay focused with this. He says, no, I want to fight. I said, then here's what I'm, my challenge to you is, Nothing about anything else of boxing until 420. Let's stay focused, okay? Let's stay on this topic here. Let's stay focused. And then afterwards, you know, if you want to talk about some of the stuff you want to talk about, but you got a job to do right now, go do your fight. Hopefully he does it. And, you know, I'm excited to see what that takes place because mm -hmm. it, his best fight, like if he actually prepares and he's ready for it and Devin is going to be prepared, if those two are prepared, it's a good fight, yep. and it's good for boxing. The words PBD uses sound eerily familiar to the words Oscar De La Hoya uses in the YouTube video titled, Oscar De La Hoya Tells All on Ryan Garcia Bizarre Behavior. All I know is that when he's disciplined and dedicated and, 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 and determined, he will, be, he will be in tip top shape, in the best shape of his life come April 20th, because he, he, knows, he knows Devin Haney's a tough, a tough nut to crack. This is all very peculiar because Oscar is actually an investor in PBD's insurance company, PHP. Obviously, Gabriel being a very, very successful Latino uh, businessman himself, I think he is the first Mexican-born pro sports owner in America owning the Houston Dynamo. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what, did you, what did you and Gabriel see in PHP when you guys decided to invest into PHP? The care, the care with which uh, PHP treats every single consumer. Very weird. In the De La Hoya video, Oscar De La Hoya discusses the upcoming fight between Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney, predicting an intense match due to their past amateur experiences and current professional rivalry. De La Hoya addresses concerns about Garcia's recent behavior and absence from training, assuring fans that Garcia looked ready for the April 20th fight after speaking with him the previous day. De La Hoya emphasizes the importance of both fighters being in top shape for the highly anticipated match, highlighting their respective knockout power and speed. He acknowledges Haney's improvement since their previous encounter but emphasizes the significance of analyzing each fighter's preparation and training camp leading up to the bout. De La Hoya suggests that Haney's victory over Garcia in their first fight may have been due to Garcia's lack of proper training or sparring and that the rematch will determine which fighter is truly superior. From the comments on the YouTube video we can see that fans are skeptical to say the least, here are some of the comments. He doesn't care about Ryan, he cares about selling the fight. I'm convinced they're using Ryan for promotional purposes. Oscar is Ryan's promoter and drug connect. Oscar didn't speak to him, he seems very off. Oscar literally had to sit there and make something up and just go on saying he's training. These comments and others set this up to be one of the most interesting stories in boxing yet. Stay tuned for more from The Fred Show. Welcome to the Fred Show, welcome to the Fred Show, welcome to the Fred Show, welcome to the Bull.